it's Lisa from Shatter Road Studio. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the upcycle room. As you can see, I had to have a bigger area to do this project. So I want to make an accordion book out of this black poster board. So poster paper. It's not really folded around. So um, I saw how to do this on Meg Journal's channel. She did a small one out of a 12 by 12. I wanted it to be black and I wanted it to be bigger. So I thought, why not grab a poster board and do it that way? So I'm assuming this has to remain square. So this page or this poster board is not square. It's like 22 by 28. So I'm going to obviously have to make it 22 square. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure I'm going to measure 22 and cut it there. I'm going to mark it with a gel pen so I can see it. gonna work okay so then need to worry about my label because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna need that for this but I'm definitely saving that because there's a good good chunk there so okay so according to Meg we're gonna be folding this and y'all maybe y'all have seen this before I haven't so I was very excited about learning about this um, how to do this and then to be able to do it on a larger scale. So hopefully it works. So I guess you're gonna be folding whichever size piece you're working with. And for me, it's just this huge one. She said you wanna keep it pretty straight. So lining up your corners is pretty important. I'm just gonna take a bowl folder And just fold it. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold the sides in. Let's see. Nope, we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go this way next. I almost did that wrong already. So we're gonna go. Okay, and then we're going to open this up and we're going to fold this side in. Okay, so now we have all of these squares. So we're going to cut up three squares and then down three squares and up three squares. Except I think it has to go like this. Uh, don't ask me why. Okay, 
and then we're going to just cut down this middle. And then flip it back around and cut up three. Oh, you guys, I just realized I was using my fabric scissors on paper. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, that gives you this M, M shape. I hope I can remember correctly. You take this and fold it in and fold this on itself and then Let me start again. This is where it gets confusing for me. Fold it up on there and then under and then over. Flip it and fold, fold it down. Flip it again. Fold it this way, flip it again, fold it this way, and then grab it up and fold it like that. Fingers crossed we got this right. So if I did it right, we will be opening. Yep. Either way, you're going to have um, two, two pages that are going to be like, um, I'll show you. So it opens like this, and then you're going to have this. So either way, we're going to have to glue this page, or you can glue the bottom and have a pocket here. So you're going to open, and then you're going to have another one. So you're going to either glue all the way shut. You could sew it, which would be cute, or leave it um, for a pocket. But here's your accordion book now. You've got all your pages. And then you start all over again. Okay. Wow, that was weird. Uh, after I got this cut out and then I was showing you um, how you can flip through it, it, something looked weird to me like I did it wrong. And it, I felt like it wasn't going to end up like Meg's on her video. Um, so I actually stopped the video and actually deleted the video thinking I had to start all over. So I went back and looked at Meg's video again, and I'm gonna to try to remember to um, link her video so you can see how it's really supposed to be done. Anyway, um, when I watched it again, I took my book apart and I followed along with her and I did it right. It just didn't look right to me, but it is right. Once you glue or staple or sew or whatever you're gonna do um, to close those areas up, it, it looks better. So I, probably plan to just collage in this little um, accordion book so I'm not gonna really want the pockets like I would if I was you know making a junk journal or something so I glued mine shut so you open this up and you have your regular you know pages that look like that and then you come to one that's the oddball oops so I need some more glue in there, see? But this one is glued shut. You, I could have left it open, but I prefer to have it glued. So I'm gonna glue that again, because it is clearly coming apart. But anyway, let's, let's try that again. So we're just flipping through it. And I don't know why I thought it wasn't, it just, it was looking weird and I freaked out and deleted my video. Like, oh shoot, I gotta start all over. And I'm like, I don't have another piece of black poster board. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? But um, yeah, so now it looks right. So you can, you can continue to flip through it. This is the part that um, confused me right here because on the other side is where that single page is. So when you flip it over this way, it's just going to be 
think I have to. Uh, no, I can't. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I have to actually glue this part shut too. Or it's just going to be open. Sorry, guys. This looked a lot... Well, it is simple. But it's me you're talking about. It looked a lot more simple. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that's... Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, yeah. So you're just going through. And here's the other one, too. That page would have given... Uh, a nice pocket and you know I might do another one sometime and leave the pockets because that's kind of cool to have that but for this particular one um, I just want a collage and stuff in this so I don't really need the pockets so here we are back to square one okay so you're gonna have your your accordion is gonna look like this with these three single pieces coming out okay yeah so there we go. So was simple, but uh, you know me, my brain got confused for a minute and I started to panic thinking I had already done something not according to plan. So, um, all right. So at this point you can decorate the front, you can collage and which I want to collage. So I'm going to grab some stuff and let's do a page of collage. Okay. I am back. So I decided to, uh, when I was looking for some collage papers, I decided to go ahead, let's start with the the, um, the front, front cover. And I like doing this with these. I have these number die cuts and I want to just start, um, I'm just gonna glue some of these on the front and then we're gonna paint over them. And they don't have to be right side up. In fact, they look better when they're all going different ways. Uh, yeah. So if you saw my art journal flip through, you saw a page where I did this. I had stuck some random letters or numbers on the page and then after they were dry I painted over them and I absolutely love the look of that so I thought we'd do it again on the front of this little accordion journal accordion book Probably could have uh, arranged them better. Pulled this down. There is a spot there. I could cut one more letter. Uh, let's see. If a three would fit, I think I'm going to cut a three and I'll be right back. Okay. We are going in with the number three 
right there. There. Okay, that'll be fun when that dries and we can paint over it. All right, let me go dry that and we'll paint over it. Okay, I'm just gonna take some craft paint. I already made a mess on my hand. And you're probably wondering, why would she be painting that black when it's a black background? Well, because I want to do gold over it. And this is how I achieved that look that I love, is by putting black first. And then the gold on top. I guess I could put it right on here. Trying to get some of the excess, and that'll be fun for collage. Okay, I'm gonna quickly dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, now for the fun part. Hope I have enough gold to make this happen. I am running low. And gold. And that's not a good thing in my world because gold I use a lot. All right, let's try to get. Okay, I'm gonna get this up here so you can see it because this is where the magic happens. Okay. Is that cool or what? Is that cool or what? Um, let me get. Let's use the rest of it. I think that's all my paint. I love it. Okay, let's take this out so you can see. Isn't that cute? I love it. Yeah, quite happy with that. So that's my cover. And I'm gonna go give that a dry. And then I'll be all right. It's all dry. I love it. It is just what I wanted to the look I was going for. A little bit more gold there, but it's fine. I love how it all, it looks just really grungy and then the letters pick up that gold and you can still see the black. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now let's collage something. Uh, let's just go here. Just a uh, gel print that I did. Um, yeah. So I think we're going to take glue stick. This seems to work okay. Okay, what 
else do we have? I just grabbed a few pieces. Some of these are mine. Most of them are. Some are, like I think this one. I did a, participated in a scrap swap. And so some of these might be from the other, other person I swapped with. some pieces and see what we like. That, that paper goes down so nice. Uh, just this tissue type paper. I'm not sure what it is actually. Um, that for a minute. I'm not sure if that one's mine. Yeah, I think that one's mine. I guess this page is going to go dark. I should remember. I have to tear it a certain way not to get those white edges. This was a cleanup. Um, I was trying to clean off my jelly plate and I actually love this piece. Hmm. I want to get... Is it about collage that uh, there's just something about it that makes me happy collaging and when I was younger I thought why do people collage it's so stupid just putting pieces together but now that I'm older I'm like man I love I just love collage I love how it ends up looking so it's weird I've said this before, but it's really weird how our taste changes. Um, and I think that's just cool how we evolve into different tastes and things. Um, let's see. So I wanted to use... I wanted to use some more of my Tim Holtz paper dolls, but I don't know if I want to use the tinies. Or the other, the next size up. I don't know if these guys would work. Yeah, I think these guys would fit okay on this size book. So maybe we'll go with the bigger, the bigger people. And we can even, we can even. She disappears a little bit. It's, somebody's got to have a white. Yeah. 
but I don't really have anything for her to sit on. Uh, let's see. I don't want to take all day on this decision. something about that one that I like so because I keep going back to that I'm going to choose that but I'm going to put other paper dolls in this because that's kind of what I was hoping to use this for so I'm going to mix miss mishmash and mix them up you know like some portraits some standing up or whatever but I kind of really like this um I wish it was a little bit more beat up a bit so we'll just scuff up the edges a little bit <sighs> getting it all over and then take some ink and ink it Ink it up. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so I think I want her like offset a little bit. I don't want her right in the center because I want I want to leave some of that writing or the print, the book page, I should say. Um, I'm going to use art glitter for her because this is super thick and I don't trust the glue stick for that. I mean, it might work, but... Why chance it, right? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should have darkened up. There we go. That's better. Making it really look like an old photo with this um, brown, a coffee archival ink. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay, yeah. I like that. I love the cover. Okay, you guys, uh, I think that's all we're going to do in this um, accordion book today, but I wanted to make it, and then, I'm uh, sorry, it got kind of weird because... When I was looking, it just looked like I did it wrong. But we're back on track, and we have our cute little recording book, and we did one page in it, and we'll do it. We'll work in this again, probably. Give us something to do. So thanks again, for and me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.